Dennis on crossing over to rival network, it's about time that boundaries disappear. What's happening right now is a good thing. Said Dennis Trillo, the latest GMA7 talent to cross over to rival network ABS Nashton for this screen project. There are so many talented artists in this country, and it's important that they are able to collaborate and learn from each other, Dennis told the Inquirer. It's about time that boundaries disappear. They shouldn't be limited by boundaries that were set by their respective networks. They should be allowed to interact more freely with one another, the actor added. Dennis is set to work on a horror film to be produced by Star Cinema, the movie production arm of ABS Ashton. The project will also feature Beauty Gonzalez. While Star Cinema co-produced with Regal Entertainment the 2015 film You're Still the One, featuring Dennis, the next one will be a solo to Tamiya project. Dennis, however, is currently promoting a film by Regal, titled Nina Anna, which will hit cinemas on August 21st. The Sakuso actor, who said he looked forward to collaborating with artists from the rival table, added that he was also open to working with Genuine Mercado, his girlfriend since 2015. Light Lang Siguro, said Dennis of the kind of film project he'd want to be in with his lady love. But it will still depend on the material if we as both like it. Working with your partner has its pros and cons, Dennis pointed out. If you're not fighting on the set, then that's okay it gets difficult if you bring your problems to the workplace. This will reflect on your outfit as actors, he added. First time director Kerwin goes mean and it is based on true events that took place in 2009 in Eastern Tamar, where a large amount of cocaine gets washed up on the shores of a peaceful fishing village. In the film, this changed the lives of the residents, specifically, two surfers named Ding, Dennis, and Carlo, Gerald Nicole, who resorted to illegal drug trade to earn instant cash. Matteo Gidicelli also plays a pivotal role in the film. To prepare for the project, Dennis did some research on the cocaine trade in Samar. I discovered that this is still happening up to now, even in other areas in the country, he shared with the Inquirer. Through this movie, the audience will not only be made aware of how illegal drugs enter the country through its back door, but also make them realize that resorting to illegal activities bring negative consequences and that many innocent lives get affected. Dennis said that while the movie would surely ruffle some feathers, he also noted that it's generous last comedy and, therefore, isn't too heavy. I also like it that I'm working with co-actors who are naturally funny. We didn't need to act happy, she added. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.